Hello everybody and welcome back to Halloween, where Halloween is everywhere and in today's video I'm doing my second episode of Haunt Build. If it sounds like I'm congested it's because I'm getting over a cold, nothing too serious. Today's video if you guys are new, welcome. If you guys are very used to these videos you'll know that the second episode is typically when I put up the walls. That's what I'm going to be doing in this video, putting up the walls, putting up the rock wall. It's going to be an awesome video. I'm so excited. So without any further ado, let me explain exactly what's happening. All right, as you can see, it's been a little bit, meaning that the line that I drew a couple weeks ago, one week ago, week and a half, I don't even remember how long it was, but it's pretty much completely faded. But it doesn't really matter for this video because the walls are going to replace them anyways. But of course, I still have the same animatronic placement that I have going on here, but this time we're adding the walls. So without any further ado, let me start a time lapse where I actually grab the walls back there and line them up here to be actually put on these support beams. back sorry i'm not using the microphone right now i just want to quickly show you where we're at and then i'll continue on with the haunt build but this year we're doing something a little bit different if you remember from last year we usually make a wall go further out and it kind of looks like an infinity hallway but we never really pulled it off that well and honestly if i'm being for real with you guys it was just an excuse because we never really want the extra mile to line up the walls but this year i decided to but not only that but I got a perfect alignment here with a one by 12, which I will use as a door, which can go here. And then once it's lined up, which I will have a door handle on here, so it's a lot easier to move, but it literally just fits right in there. Now you see a little gap, but that's because they're just different angles, but it's gonna look amazing. So I'm going to have a door handle on here that you can pull it and then just slide it out of the way. And then on the bottom, there's going to be a hole where I can put a uh, dry vent duct in it. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like those aluminum wrap hoses that you can put a fog machine in and then it will release fog into the haunt. So I'm very excited. So without any further ado, let's first take out all the previous staples. This is the worst part. So I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. And then we'll do the rock. They did the monster match It was a graveyard smash It caught on in a flash They did the monster match The zombies were having fun The party had just begun The guests included Wolfman Dracula and his son The scene was rocking all the digging all right, ladies and gents, I'm back. Uh, I went out to grab some staples as well as a door handle because I'm gonna be putting it on that strip there on the sliding door that I talked about. So without any further ado, let's put on the actual rock wall. I kind of need to clear this area first, so let's get that done as well as putting on the rock wall.
Hello everybody, welcome back. It is day two. I was gonna do this yesterday, but I wanted to give myself a little bit of extra time. I need to do that board there today. It is the door, if you heard from the first clip from yesterday. Now, I do have a door pull or a door handle, however you wanna call this. I'm going to place it on the back side of that. And then I also need to cover it in wall decorations and then line it up so it looks still like it's part of the wall. So without any further ado, let's get on to first building one other thing. This year I have a um, board running along the bottom because I'm trying to keep as much of the fog in here as possible because I'm doing a laser swamp in here this year. So I'm just going to cover these boards up with rock as well. Now, not only does it serve a purpose for uh, holding fog in but it also is going to look nice because it's going to look like the rock comes out at the bottom and I think that adds a little bit of texture to it so without any further ado let's first cover these boards. Now this is the back of the door. Now for now, I'm literally just grabbing this little piece and what I'm doing is pulling it out and slide and then I can fit right through here, come right back. So let's put this door handle on it. Okay, here it is. The makeshift door is going in. We'll go around the back. Oh my goodness, that's great. That does the job just fine. Wow, that's awesome, oh my goodness. All right, we're at this stage here. All I need to do now is clean everything up. I'm also gonna clean up some stuff in the back, but I'm gonna do that all off camera because who wants to see a guy clean his garage? So without any further ado, let's clean everything up. Bam, there we go. Everything is cleaned up and this is gonna wrap up the second haunt build. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was definitely a longer haunt build. It is always my least favorite one because it's just the construction portion. But the third or the next haunt build that you guys will be seeing is easily my favorite of them all. And that is like the lighting and the laser swamp. So I'm very excited about that. Definitely stay tuned because that's coming up on the channel too. So without any further ado, if you guys enjoyed the video, consider hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. It is completely your choice. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.